see, I won't get it maybe the first time. Today's commercial is on behalf of not growing old gracefully. <laughs> Too many people say, you know, once you get older, you get past 40, you've got to slow down and take it easy. And this, this was a myth that, that uh, has lived with us for, for many years, and as a result, a lot of people really do slow down. When I did the first time, uh, the whole group, they really cheered me <laughs> because they thought that was really something. I can do this up to 50. One, two. You think there are a bunch of bananas up there the way you're going up that rope? I don't do it to show off or anything, but I mean, I can just gallop down a hill, you know, and if there's a fence to climb and if it's low enough, I'll jump it. Way to go, Stan. Age doesn't really come into it at all. It's because this is something I would like to try. And I like trying new things, and if I don't like it, well, I'll just not go back again. It's important that, that people try to go ahead and keep regularly physically active every day, and uh, no matter what it is you do. 35, 36, 37. There are a lot of people who uh, may think it's silly, but um, it's a type of exercise as well. Society has a lot to do with this age business, saying, oh, I'm 65, oh, I don't do that anymore. But what do you do if you don't do that anymore at 65? If you're walking 20 minutes in the morning and 20 minutes in the afternoon, for example, there's the start of a very good exercise program. You know, I'm not doing it to brag or anything. It's just that I feel that way. I'm full of life. Whew. This isn't that person showing off. You learn balance and concentration. 50. I did it. <laughs> There's no question about it. The, uh, the slowdown of aging is inevitable. It's going to happen to us all. But uh, we should go fighting, struggling against it, rather than going ahead and, and just meekly laying next to our television set, watching it and, and falling asleep. I've been in the physical uh, fitness movement since the early 1950s and I have worked uh, with, with adults for the biggest part of that time. Um, I've seen fitness start as, a, as kind of an esoteric sort of thing that, that uh, a, few, a few nuts did into a um, kind of activity which is accepted by everyone and we find That's young people breathing. to uh, the oldest people in the country now doing it and enjoying it and knowing that they have to do it. The you of agers. The U of Agers, I think, are on the cutting edge of the fitness movement for older adults. Never before have there been people doing these kinds of things so extensively. It's the, the spearhead of the fitness movement for older people. Older people have tended to go ahead and hang back and not want to do things. You know, they, they've been encouraged not to do things. And here's a group of people who are saying, go out and do the best you can. Go out and try it. Challenge the limits. Go as far as you can go. I keep thinking that they're special somehow. This, this group's got to be special. And then I, I watch them in the gym, and I watch them trip, or I watch them stumble, or I watch them lose their balance. I see frailty. I see weakness. I think, no, these, this group is just average. What may be extraordinary, if there's anything, it would be just their open-mindedness about being something that they're not supposed to be. Eight, nine. We're still having trouble getting up. 
Take it, take it from the knees. Sandy is the coach, and she's the, the motivator and, and the, the enthusiast. She's the and one that, that, that conceived the group initially, saw the need for it in That's the it. fitness classes, step. and uh, was able to lead and people one. into it. And two, and up, zigzag, down, sweep, right, one, and two. I think gymnastics for seniors three, is considered to be a rather four. outrageous undertaking. They're breaking the rules about aging in many ways and they really like that that's a lot of fun press against my shoulders and come on up Katie was Seven, instrumental in running extra eight, practices eight, I mean she's just an one, incredible instructor two three we saw this sort of futuristic idea of what seniors could be doing. Seven, eight, great. We taught progressively. We taught the basics as we would teach a young child. We gave them lots of movement experience, and we gave them lots of fitness development. But then you come down to the bottom line. You want to try a cartwheel. Reach into it, and go. Okay. <laughs> After the end of the practice, we'd go off in a corner and I'd say, why don't they just tell us we're crazy? And i said, say, well, they really don't think we're crazy. They really think this is the right kind of activity for them. We're going to relax now by doing our headstands. One foot at a time. Up there, that's it. Stretch it. Stretch. That's it. Beth benefits from gymnastics greatly because of her spine problem, which is quite severe scoliosis, and she also has very severe arthritis. Anyone else would uh, probably say, I think I'll just stay home in my easy chair and stay on medication. People just think of the word gymnastics, oh my. Goodness, I could never do gymnastics. Turn, tumble, do this, do that. You don't have to do everything that we do in your features. It's entirely a personal thing. That's it. Not so high, a little more. Just turn the neck. That's better. That's it again. Again. Everybody has a little something. Nobody's free of pain or aches. I don't care who they are. Let's face it, you're not 25 anymore. You don't expect to do these things that you did at 25. But don't stop doing them, for goodness sake. Keep going, even although you're only 50% of what you used to. It's all in your head. Mind over matter. And that helps an awful lot. They wouldn't do it if they didn't enjoy it. We're not asking them to do anything. They're asking us to teach them how to do it. So, uh, no, I think if, if anything else, it's been a, a message to me that we have, as a society, really underestimated uh, the older adult potential. Did I change my hands? Nope. You're doing slowly in control. Good. And Oh, wow! Oh, wow! Okay, watch your legs. My gym mostly comes first. Even if my sisters or somebody invites me out for supper, which, you know, I'm a bachelor, so I like to be invited out for supper. That's very nice, but I always tell them, can't be Monday, Wednesday, or Friday because I'm in the gym. Good. No sweat. <laughs> I guess it sounds funny for somebody like my age to have a motorcycle, but most of my friends and that, they think that what I'm doing and the way I'm living is great. A lot of them wish they could do the same thing, or they could have my health and the way I'm enjoying my retirement. And I say, well, you know, you, you've got to start exercising. That's all there is to it. You know, it isn't bad. Get up a half an hour in the morning, go down to the basement and exercise. And that's the way you have to do it. You have to set that particular time aside for yourself to exercise. Yeah. 
I just sort of knew that someday I'd have to start jogging. You know, I just felt terrible. You just, you just felt lazy and I was really overweight. Once you begin to do a few things, you really get enthused about it. But that's how I got started in it. And I just loved it right from the start. I never quit. Yay! And Stan! Yay, Stan! Here we go. This U of Ages group, they're a live group, but it's because they keep themselves in good shape. You take Lily, for instance, and she's 76. Look what kind of shape she's in. She's just full of life, that woman. Well, I've been told, ah, oh, you're crazy, you're doing those things. Aren't you too old to do those things? It doesn't bother me. I'm trying to keep myself fit. Good. And good landing. All right, Lily, you did it almost on your own. Lily is one of the hardest workers in the group. She's our oldest member, probably the most courageous because of her age and essentially a beginner. So it was really a thrill to see her overcome the difficulty of walking on a very low balance beam. There are a lot of things you can do in the house which help your balance. It may sound funny, but when I start cleaning, vacuuming, dusting, I make a point to do a lot of reaching and stretching and bending over properly. To me, I feel that's part of my exercise. If I can't get out, then I run in my apartment. And I mean run around. Lily Tokarik is an inspiration. She said to me, I like it here at the university. And she ended up getting her Bachelor of Fine Arts. Going back to university, it's a challenge. And I have to be fit to do that. Sounds Bulgarian today. Very good. Yeah. Very good. So what are you guys working on right now? I found it very interesting. And I found the young people on the campus very helpful. Polata e plesira. I took psychology, sociology I took. And you know, I, I thought at one time I'd have loved to have been a lawyer. <laughs> I don't think I'd have made a good lawyer because uh, I took criminology and I failed in it. <laughs> Now, slowly, slowly, If I weren't fit, I wouldn't be able to sit down and write my book. I want to be independent. And I know my family, they think they should look after me. I said, no, I want to look after myself as long as possible. So they tease me. My grandson says, I'll take you for a ride, Grandma, but you'll have to run after the car coming home. What we're going to do here is going to take your blood pressure all the time you're riding the bike. Good, right there. Try and keep it right about there if you can. Looks good. There's an incredible physical benefit, um, ranging from increasing the efficiency of not just the heart, but essentially every organ of the body, your digestion, um, really bowel action, ability of the lungs to, 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 you know, bring in air and oxygen. That looks really good. 77, 8, 9, My doctor, I've 40. seen him probably half a dozen times, you know. Two. He gets a great kick out of what I'm doing and he thinks that's just great. And they, they just say, you know, boy, I hope I'm in that kind of shape at your age. 44, how do you feel? Fine. Yeah. That looks good. Yeah. Looks really good. They feel within their body that they have strength, real physical strength. So they 
have confidence about that and they move with confidence and they talk with confidence. You know, I think it gives them some sense of real well-being to, to feel physically better. The less we spend on pills, you know, and the less time we spend in doctor's office, I mean, the less it costs the government. That costs the government very much to keep me in medicines. Oh. It's in your hips. And all that yoga you've been doing is going to help. Because you have good flexibility. You and I'm always telling the coach you so can't you teach an old dog new tricks. But you know, that's, that's, right that's a falsehood. They can. So I'm starting on the yeah. butterfly the stroke. And it's surprising. I'm not efficient at it, but I'm getting there and I'm learning. <laughs> Clearly, when we get into something like dance or gymnastics, where you have to think about where you're supposed to be and every body part's moving, there is a real mental function. You're really thinking. You're really working the brain as it's meant to be worked. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. I'll tell you something, that if you don't challenge yourself mentally, you start slipping back. This is why a lot of older people will say, I don't remember names. Round the circle, up, turn, out. I've known for a long time that it's really important for older adults to have social networks where they can express their problems or get advice or hear other people's points of view and have company, have companionship. But I had no idea of the family atmosphere that was possible. You touch the fountain of youth, the gym floor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, me, don't you? I love it. There is a certain amount of socializing and working as a group. Did you get one for me? Well, yes. Oh, shucks, we forgot to order one for you. There you go. Run, There is a purpose as well, I feel. We're all working towards fitness for older people. Hollywood, here we come. Rockets, here we come. On. Here we are looking at older adults that are really taking on a challenge. They don't have to go out there and do headstands. They don't have to go out there and perspire. Why are they doing this? Well, they're doing it because they want to learn, they want to try something new, they want to be uh, tested, challenged. I have personally experienced great joy and satisfaction from doing things, not, not well, just doing them, enjoying them. And they say if a thing is worth doing, it's worth doing badly. And I've spent a lot of time doing things badly and getting great satisfaction from my involvement in them. Truly, I live each day and enjoy every bit of it. And I'm not lonely. When I have something on my mind, and it's a, sort of a problem or to solve it, I'll put on my jogging shoes and away I go. And everything seems to fall in place. As far as the future goes, I intend to keep up my exercise and gymnastics as long as I can. It's a good life. I think it's a good, good life and a good healthy life. When you're younger, you think, oh, 
you'll never grow old, but when you reach it, uh, life's getting very short. And the more I can keep myself mentally and physically fit, the better life I will lead in the years to come. I really feel that, that we have just scratched the surface on what older people can do. I'm sure that older people uh, don't do a lot of the things that they could do because they, of uh, peer pressure, because their children are afraid for them, because the, they uh, have come up with a set of cultural values which are contrary to trying those kinds of things. And uh, a group like the U of Agers uh, continues to show people that what is possible. Let's break down the number. The number doesn't mean a thing. Some of us will say goodbye to life in our 50s, 40s perhaps, and others will live you know, well beyond 100. So we can't use that number to judge what is appropriate behavior for adults. I'm fighting it, tooth and nail. I'm not as young as I was, but I have made up my mind that I'm going to do everything that I can do. Do not go quietly into that dark night. You go in there struggling and fighting. Age should rage and fight against it. And that's what I'm doing, and that's what I'm urging the people around me to do.